Hello, welcome back. Uh, we're playing Sonic Unleashed. Uh, this is the ice cream man. Uh, he, he, he's got a heart on for ice cream. Just like Chip does. Hello! Oh yeah, uh, last episode we did the uh, opening stage. This episode we're exploring the town of Apatos and talking to the people here. Hello! Lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? Oh, and who's this little fellow here? Hmm? Do I know him? No, I can't say I've seen him before. Perhaps someone else has. Shut up, emails. God. I just know Deadpool's gonna go off in a second, so I'm gonna put that on silent for a little bit. <laughs> Let's talk to this priest-ass motherfucker. Gregorios. Oh, wow, that's an awesome name. Gregorios. Well, what have we here? Travelers, what a pleasant surprise. Hmm? Trying to figure out which way to go, hmm? Not an easy choice. If you continue straight ahead, you will come to the entrance stage. I have an inkling that it leads to your future. Thanks, I'll take a look. An enthusiastic response. May good fortune smile upon thee. So I guess we gotta go this way then. Into the entrance stage, which is like the sub hub. World. I didn't even mean for that to be a fucking pun. Looks like we can get a bu get to a bunch of places from here. I I believe this. Okay, so we don't need any medals to to start this level. Cuz the whole gimmick with Sonic Unleashed is that you need to collect sun and moon medals to unlock the day and night levels. They're a pain in the ass. They're completely unnecessary. They tend to slow the pace down to a crawl sometimes. But, I don't know. We don't need anything to get into this level, so that's fine. Let's just go really fucking fast. Because that's what Sonic is all about, right? So yeah, if you can't keep up, uh, that's okay, I don't blame you. I mean, it, it is Sonic, right? Sonic is supposed to be super fucking fast. Oh, there's our first Moon Medal. We need those to get into the Werehog levels, which uh, we'll have an abundance of those by the end of the game because there are way more. Well, no, there aren't. There are equal amounts of Sun and Moon medals, but uh, when it comes to the daytime levels, there are more Moon medals than there are Sun medals. There are more Sun level medals in the nighttime levels. I know it's kind of reversed, but I know I guess it's a. Uh... It's not a great system. Like I said, it does tend to um, slow things down to a crawl. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I've played this game too many times to know that that's there. And we just gotta be careful here. We gotta make sure that we don't fuck shit up. Yeah! I I've played this game way too many times, so I know a lot of the shortcuts. And I know a lot of the metal locations. Like, here's our first sun metal. And off we go. Whoop. So yeah, our, our goal in this game is to go really fast. Oh right, we don't have the... Uh, I could wall jump off this to get that record, but we don't have the wall jump yet. Not until we get to Holoska do we get the wall jump. So, how's everyone's day going? There was a quick time event. Now we're back to 3D. The, 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 this game did a lot of things, really. Well, one, it brought the boost formula into the 3D games. Um, two, it, uh, it, it was the first 3D Sonic game, at least, to mix uh, 2D and 3D styles together. So you'll be playing in 3D, like, oh shit. <laughs> I lost control of myself there for a sec. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys in a second. There, there's a good uh, spot coming up that I can show you what I'm going to be talking about. But this game did a lot. It, it brought the boost formula into the 3D Sonic uh, games. Um, it was the first game 
to mix 2D and 3D together simultaneously. So right now I'm in 3D, right? I boost forward and it, it transitions directly into a 2D section. This was the first Sonic game to do this and all, really, all 3D Sonic games do this now. They're like, oh, this is a for this is a formula that works. So we're going to stick to this. So yeah, every Sonic game, every 3D Sonic game at least, uh, after this, uh, does this formula where it goes from 2D to 3D. Even in Generations, where... Uh, the only reason I got to see was because I died at the last second. But... Yeah, the fucking... Um... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, even in Generations, where you have... Classic Sonic and Modern Sonic. Modern Sonic still does the whole 2D to 3D transition. Even though you have Classic Sonic, which is pure 2D. You still have it. So... It's a formula that's never going to go away. Like, I think every Sonic game from this point on is going to do the, the 2D, 3D thing. Don't worry about it. Maybe your memory will come back on its own. Remember anything yet? Asking him if he remembers anything isn't going to jog his memory. And then Sonic looks up at the moon as the sun sets beyond the horizon. And Sonic's like, oh, I gotta take a shit. Oh, too many chili dogs. Oh! Whoa. Mr. Monster Guy is back. Hells yeah. It may not be Super Saiyan, but it's something. It's a super something. Are you okay, Sonic? I'm fine. I just look a little grisly. Yeah, yeah, you do. Sonic, look. If Tails comes out of nowhere, he's like, Hey, Sonic! And then he sees that you're a fucking werewolf, and he's like, oh, I need to avert my eyes! Mr. Ice Cream Man is really depressed. Ice cream. How about some more of this super tasty stuff? What good is ice cream at a time like this? What good is ice cream when the whole planet is going to end? But don't worry, he's also Mr. Stretch Armstrong. Yes, it is very weird. <laughs> it's very fucking weird. <laughs> Again, this is a design choice I don't understand. Because Sonic turns into a werewolf who also has stretchy arms. His arms stretch like rubber. I don't get it. <laughs> like, not really a spoiler because there's nothing to spoil. But there is no explanation for that at all. We are going to go through the rest of the game... Without a single explanation as to why Sonic's arms stretch like they do when he's in his werehog form. You just you just gotta fucking accept it, bro. And if you don't accept it, then that's not my fault. But yeah. Uh Sonic's arms stretch. It's fucking weird, right? Oh, Speak of the devil, here's Tails. Tails, there's no bargaining with the creatures of the night. You should know this. And he literally just flew over like 15 feet. And they're just gonna act like he's not even there anymore. All right, so here we are. Your friend went off that way, Sonic. Quick, let's go after him. So here we are, in the Werehog levels. Now, a lot of people had a lot of problems with this uh, with this style of gameplay when it, it, when this game came out. Because they're like, this doesn't belong in a Sonic game. And I will agree, it does not belong in a Sonic game. Sonic the Werehog is a completely pointless and uh, unnecessary addition. But, I enjoy beat-em-up games. So, I am perfectly okay with this. 
So yeah, we just gotta beat up these motherfuckers. The, the, the combo system is pretty standard when the game starts out. Uh, it's only as we get more experience. Like this, see? Enemies drop yellow gem looking things when you beat them up, right? Those are chaos orbs and they give you EXP. That means level up, Sonic. So if you want to get stronger, grab all the chaos orbs you can. Because this game also has slight RPG elements. Where we collect these chaos orbs. And I can use them to upgrade different stats. Like, uh, in terms of uh, Sonic, I can use them to upgrade his speed and his ring energy meter so that it will uh, extend. And be so I'll have more ring energy so I can boost. Uh, the Werehog has quite a few different things that he can level up. Uh, he can level up his strength, he can level up his combat abilities, which give him more combos to do. Uh, he can he can level up his life bar, he can level up his uh, shield bar, he can level up his unleash bar, which lets him do like rage mode. He has a lot of things that he can level up, way more than Sonic. Yep. There's a record back here, yep. I knew it. Even in terms of the Werehog, I have played this game too much. Oh god, oh god. Like, yeah, a another thing about this game, uh, the frame rate is shit. Like, for the, m for the most part, it's okay. But, especially in the Werehog levels, when things uh, become a, a bit much, when there's a lot of enemies on screen, or a lot's happening at once, you know, uh, it, it, it slows down a lot. I'm not going to uh, deny that. So, you'll see a lot of frame stuttering. In this game, just wait until we get to Adabat. Because, who boy! That's gonna be fun. Sonic, let go. Try hitting the B button mid-jump to grab onto higher ledges. And this is where my stretchy arms come into play. Whoa, Jesus! Okay, there's a shadow. There, I think there's a metal up here. Yep, moon metal. Oh, I missed it. How did I miss it? Probably because I'm a failure of a human being. How did I miss it again? God, I suck. There we go. Okay, let's move on. Grab this pole, climbing up the pole. Grab this pole, doing some platforming, grabbing up the pole. There's something over here. Oh, sun metal. They wouldn't just have this miraculous uh, area behind where I'm going if there wasn't something hidden there. Granted, it was just a metal. But I need those metals. Especially when we get later on. And the amount of metals I need to unlock levels are kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I threw him! I haven't killed everything yet. There's a lot of these little dudes left. I don't know what that is, but I collected it. Uh, is there something over here? I think there is. Usually there's something behind these doors. Sun metal. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need these sun metals. Because later on, the amount of sun medals I need to get into the daytime levels becomes kind of ridiculous. And like I said, having to backtrack to previous levels to uh, get more medals to unlock levels. <laughs> get more medals to unlock levels. It just becomes tedious. And the frame rate is garbage right now. No, the video is not stuttering. No, nothing went wrong in editing. This is just how the game is. Like I said, we're going to have to get used to it. Because especially in the Werehog levels, when there's a lot of enemies on screen, things tend to go to shit. I do enjoy this, though. I do enjoy doing this. This is fun. <laughs> especially if I... Oh. I can do it with the big guys, too. And this is fucking awesome. But I can grab one of these little guys. And if there's another little guy... Nah, there's no other little guy. I was going to say... If um, I grab two little guys, I can, like, ba bash them together, which is also pretty awesome. There are chaos orbs everywhere. 
Is there something back here? Sun metal, you tried to- you tricky little bastards. You tried to hide it from me. You can't hide anything from me, bitch. Okay, here comes an Eggman robot. Come here, you. How's everyone doing today? Good? I'm glad. <laughs> okay, so check this shit out. So I grabbed two of these guys and I'm like, now kiss. Oh, fuck you. You little orby bastards. Will you get over here? See, this is the benefit of having stretchy arms, because then I can fucking hit you from afar. You little bastards. Yep. Die now, please. <gasps> you tricky bastards. You tried to hide this from me. If I didn't have to turn around to fight more of them, I probably would not have noticed that. So yeah, <laughs> let's keep going. How's it going, everyone? You know what? Uh, fuck this. Unleashed mode, which is basically, like I said, it's just rage mode. And I do believe the frame rate is like 10 frames per second right now. It is, it is garbage. You know, at least... <laughs> I, I understand that this is the first time they're using an engine, so, you know, they gotta work out all the kinks and whatnot. But... At least with Sonic 06, as terrible as that game was, at least the frame rate was pretty consistent. Uh. Okay, what's going on over- ooh, moon metal. I think I have to grab this box and bring it over here. I understand we're not going fast right now, but I do enjoy puzzle platforming and I do enjoy beat-em-ups, so I'm perfectly okay with this right now. I gotta go over here and find another one of these fucking, these the room gems. These gem keys, these keys of the elders. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. That's a sun metal. Um, yeah, that's a book. Dude, I got a book. You know what I'm gaining? Knowledge. <laughs> just hanging out here in my garage with my new Sonic Genie. And uh you know, you know what I you know what I love more than this Lamborghini? Knowledge. <laughs> I don't that joke that is just those jokes are just so fucking funny and I don't I don't even care. I don't even care if it's outdated. It's funny as shit to me. Let's see if what we're looking for is in here. It is. Oh, there is something over here. It's a sun metal! I, I noticed there was a little gap there. So I was like, oh, there must be something hidden back there. And it was a sun metal. All right. Here we go. Yup. Yup. Take this, you dirty Dan. All right. On the next episode, we will continue. I see a sun metal over there. It's right on the left side. Anyway, on the next episode, we'll continue with Apatos Night, and we'll finish the first Werehog level. So join us, won't you?